All right, y'all. So I'm going to start adding in some new videos. Only because, for whatever reason, YouTube is demonetizing or limiting the ads, if you will, on my airsoft videos. So I'm going to start adding in some truck videos, some mechanic help videos. Not necessarily truck. We'll do cars. We'll do anything. So hopefully, y'all know I work on trucks. So hopefully we'll be able to do that and you guys can get some help out of it for your normal everyday stuff. So this video that I'm doing right now is gonna be a no start. This no start video can go for cars, semis. I got grease all over me by the way today. Um, it doesn't matter, uh, a starter, batteries, everything works the same. So there's just a few different components. Um, it all works off of voltage and ignition and a starter so y'all watch this video hopefully it'll be helpful to you and i'm gonna go get this grease off of me enjoy all right y'all i'm fixing to do a video on a sterling which just can work on a lot of semis and it's a no start i'm gonna show you how i check no start i usually don't let people in on these secrets but it's time to let them go see my special tool right here it's called a power probe i actually got the five volt adapter on it we don't need that we're gonna see exactly what's going on real quick. Just gonna get up in here, push the clutch while I'm doing this. Y'all don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, check out my videos and hopefully we'll be able to help y'all out. So you hear it clicking and I hear it over here. Sounds like a, the relay's definitely getting power. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out here and see if that power getting down to the starter to know whether it's a starter or a battery or whatever so let me get set up i'm going to hook this up to the battery and um, what a power probe does if you've never seen one it shoots a power or a ground it checks volts and a whole bunch of other stuff but that's a whole nother video so here we go i got the power probe hooked up and i'm up underneath the truck and i want to show you all something this will work for any car, any truck, it don't matter. Every starter has a big wire. See that big one I'm pointing at? That's 12 volts. Check it, you see 12 volts. And a little wire. The little wire is a signal from the key. A quick check to see is your starter good, is your battery good, is if you don't have a power probe, is to touch this big wire here to the little wire. Make sure it's in neutral when your parking brake is on and even chalk your tires this is a quick check i'm going to hit hit this with power and we'll see if the starter is good all right so you heard it spin so the starter is good so essentially what i done was i supplied 12 volts here to this little wire which is it either goes back to a solenoid or to a relay but essentially it goes back to your key so got 12 volts going to our starter I spun it here which you can do with the screwdriver it did spin over so I know my starter is good I know my battery is good so we have to figure out where is, are we losing power from the key to here so let me get set up for that and we'll get back all right so I'm gonna hit the key all right this will tell us if it's getting power to that solenoid 11 3 11 4 11.5. All right, so we're getting power to this solenoid, and we got power here. Sorry. Can you hold it again? No. We got power to there, and then if you could hit it here. So, you can power it up at that solenoid. And you got power coming to the small wire. This wire comes from the ignition. It sends power to this. There's always power to this side. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here's where we're at now. We know our starter's good. We know our batteries are good. So I looked around between the ignition and the starter. And I found this solenoid. On most big trucks, semi trucks I'm going to say, there's a starter solenoid. It's to carry the current for this really really large wire so they take a really small wire this will come from your ignition switch right here and as you hit the key 12 volts is going to travel to here it's going to throw 12 volts to here 
it's gonna slam a contact shut and it's gonna essentially connect this 12 volts to this and this wire runs straight to your starter so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna test this so right now it's showing a ground and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna hit the key and we'll see is that getting power it's gonna be hard to do by myself but you'll be able to hear I'll put y'all out here Y'all can tell me, is it getting power? There you go. So we're getting power. We're getting power from our key. Whenever I hit the ignition, we're getting power. So we know that this solenoid is getting 12 volts when I hit the key, but it's not cranking. So essentially this solenoid is probably bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit 12 volts to this lug, which is to the starter lug. Now, if you got a power probe, you can hold it in power, and you can do that. You can hear the starter clicking, it just tripped the breaker. Or if you don't have a power probe, you could take a screwdriver. And you take this 12 volt lug, and you touch it to that 12 volt lug. And if it starts, that solenoid is no good. Now, most truck drivers are gonna say, well, you had to push the clutch down to do that. You're right, I did. I'm gonna show you guys what I've done so it'll help you out. On all semis is a clutch switch to where you have to push the clutch down to start the truck. If you go underneath your pedal, you'll see a little switch. It's just a micro switch. And when you push the pedal down, you'll see it goes down and hits the switch. And what, what, you, what you find is what I done was I took the carpet here and I held the switch back or the vinyl, whatever you call it. That way it'll simulate the clutch being down the whole time. Just make sure it's in neutral and your parking brake is set. So what we found was a bad starter solenoid. And we'll replace that and then I'll show you the finished product. All right guys, I have installed a new solenoid. I'm gonna be quick about this. This is a different solenoid only because it has two lugs and the old one had the single lug the old one had one lug that that's the signal from the key this is the power this always has 12 volts this is out to the starter so when this gets 12 volts it takes this one and this one and basically touches them together inside so the new one as you can see has two small lugs one two and two big lugs and two big lugs this was your always 12 volts so what I done was I hooked it back how it was. This is down to your starter. And what you're gonna do if you do have a two lug one that comes is one is your signal from your ignition switch. The other one is gonna be a ground. Um, you could take it and just make you a wire and loop it back to the mounting bracket. Or you can do like I did and find a ground and just run it to a ground. So now we're gonna test it real quick and see if it cranks. I still have my clutch switch pinned and it is in neutral and let's give it a shot with the key look at there simple simple fix i know you guys can do it thank you guys for following i'm jj moore no start fixed i hope that was helpful I'm fixing to go home and get some rest and we'll get back at it tomorrow and maybe we'll do some airsoft videos in between. I do have a whole lot of footage on airsoft that I've done that I'm going to upload. I have so much editing to do because I've been so busy. Y'all all have a Merry Christmas and send me a present if you want. Just kidding. But um, these videos are... Um, a way to make a little bit of extra money so i don't really make that much money on youtube especially whenever they limit the ads on every video i've been uploading lately so if you like this video share it and um don't forget to subscribe follow and um hopefully this will help you guys out and it'll help out people that need help so that's what they're all about it's not really about the money it's not that much money involved anyways but I'm gonna go over here and mess with this guy. He's over here working on an RV. 
and let y'all get back to y'all's normal life. Thank you for following. Look at this guy here. He's working on an RV, check him out. What's up, Josh? Batteries, oh man, them look heavy. So yeah, we do RVs too. Just about anything you could think of, actually. If you can break it, we can fix it. If you can break it, we can fix it. We can fix anything except a broken heart. Y'all have a good day.